welcome to another episode of What Did God Say? where we address everyday topics from a biblical perspective. Amen. My name is Dr. Talia Jones. I'm a prophetess to the nations. And with me is Dr. Kathy Jones. She's an evangelist after the heart of God. Amen. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3 tells us that by God's divine power, he has given us everything we need for life and godliness yes. through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Amen. So today we are here to find out what God has to say about war. Amen. War. We got our Amen. We got our military <laughs> greens on. Amen. And our war clothes on. Yes. We're going to be talking about war today. But before we get started, let's pray. Amen. Dear Father God, we love you, we thank you, and we praise you. Thank you, Lord God, that you fight for us. You care Amen. about us, Lord God. And so we can cast our cares on you and you fight our battles. And we Amen. so we thank you. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, that you would teach us. Teach us exactly yes. what you say about war, Lord God, and how we're able to fight the good fight of faith in the mighty name of Jesus and be victorious and deal with battles within. Lord, have your way. Holy Spirit, take full control and I pray that your word will go forth, Lord God, that it will glorify you, edify your people, and terrify the devil. In Jesus' in mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Again, we're talking about war today. So, Dr. Kathy, what does God say about war? Amen. Well, we know that it's a spiritual thing. Yeah. Amen. For us, it's a spiritual thing. Yes. Second Chronicles definitely tell us. Second Chronicles 20 and 15 let us know that the battle is not ours. Amen. It belongs to the Lord. It belongs you to know, the It Lord. belongs to the Lord. Amen. Don't try to fight the Lord's battles. Amen. 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 You know, and then Psalms 20 and 7 says this. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses, mm -hmm. but we trust in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 You know, we trust in the name of the Lord. Yes. That's who win our wars. Yes. Amen. We win our, we, we battle on our knees so yes. we can stand. Amen. 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 In uh, Ephesians chapter 6, mm -hmm. uh, verse 12 and 13, I'm going to read that real quick. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but yes. against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Amen. We're going to talk a little bit more about the whole armor of God a little bit later, but we recognize that. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. This is not a physical thing. Yes. It's a spiritual thing. And we know this from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, where yes. it says, although we walk in the flesh, yes. we do not war after the flesh. Amen. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Mm -hmm. They're not carnal. They're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. Casting down imaginations yes. and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge mm. of God. Amen. So we don't walk in the flesh. I mean, although we are in the flesh, we yes. walk in the flesh, we do not war in the flesh. Amen. Mm. Our weapons are spiritual and yes. they're mighty in and God. Mighty through God. Amen. They're mighty mighty God. in God. Yes. Amen. So he's telling us we need to take our thoughts captive. Yes, that's where the battle was at. Yes, it is. It's in the mind. And we need to make them obey Christ. Mm. Amen. Make your thoughts, your imaginations. Don't uh, overplay things and scenarios and situations. That's It's, it's creating mm. a war within us. Amen. Yes. A war in the mind. A war in the soul. Amen. Sin creates a war in the soul. Amen. This is what is going on. Mm. So, so we're going to talk about, you know, dive a little bit more into why there are wars. Mm. Amen. Amen. Why are there wars, Dr. Kathy? Mm. Well, one reason why there war there are wars because there's a battle going on inside of us. Yeah. Amen. We 
we were in the flesh. Yeah. No good thing dwells in this flesh. Yeah. Amen. We, you know, our 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 flesh is worn against our soul. Yeah. Paul, and, and, you know, we know it's so because Paul said that. Yeah. Paul said, "Oh wretched man who I am. When I want to do good, evil is always present. There's a battle going on. Yeah. And just because we Christians don't mean we exempt." Right. You know, it rains on the just as well as the unjust. If it's raining outside, whoever go out there, Christian mm. or non-Christian, you'll get wet. Yeah. And especially if you don't have a covering. Mm. Jesus is our covering. Yes. Amen. He teaches us how to war. He said he teaches us how to fight. Amen. But we but we're in a war because of that flesh. Yeah. We're in a war because of uh, some people in a war because of the uh, of sexual sins. Mm -hmm. That's one against you. Yeah. It's one against your soul. Yeah. That's what First Peter two and eleven says. A sexual sin wars against our soul. Yes. Every other sin is without the body, except for fornication, mm. adultery. Mm -hmm. You know, that sex lust yeah. that wars against our soul. Yes. Amen. Romans seven and eighteen talks about that battle in the flesh. Yeah. It talks about it. You yeah. know. I don't know if you're going to share James, but James talks yeah. about those wars that's among us. Amen? Yes. Because of the lust inside of us. Amen. We're going to take things to God. We try to fight them. You know, that thing is in us. Yeah. Amen. That's why he said, bring those thoughts into captivity. That yeah. stuff you're imagining, get it out of there. Because if yeah. you don't get it out of there spiritually, yeah. amen, yeah. it'll manifest itself naturally. Yes, it will. You know, and this is the, battle, this yeah. the battleground right here. Yeah. This is the battleground right here. The battle is not ours. It yeah. belongs to the Lord. Don't try to fight the Lord's battles. Amen. Yes. Yes. Don't let try to, this is the battleground. Your, Satan's mission is to kill, steal, and destroy. Right. It takes the peace of God to quench the, the battles that's going on in mm -hmm. the inside. Yeah. Amen. We have to deal with the, our own battles inside. Yeah. That turmoil, turmoil that unrest inside. that's going on inside. You yes. need the peace of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. When there's peace on the inside, you're able to easier, easily have peace mm -hmm. with others. Amen. Absolutely. On the outside. Yes. Amen. You know, you meet someone who seems that, man, they always want to fight, always ready to argue, always yes. ready to throw their fist or whatever. It's, it's because of what's going on in the inside. On the inside of yeah. them. On the inside, that's why we have to deal with ourselves. Yeah. Amen. So again, while we while there was because of what's going on inside that yes. individual, yeah. If we don't deal with the battles inside of us, then they're gonna manifest into a war. Yes. With somebody else. Yes. He said, those those imaginations, those thoughts, that torment, deal with it, get it out of there. Yeah. That's why the Bible said, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. Just believe God. Just yeah. believe you. Just trust. We must learn to trust in the name of the Lord. Yes. That battle starts within here. Yeah. We're fighting and warring because of we haven't dealt with that internal battle. Yeah. Yeah. That internal battle. It's so true. And, and we see that in James chapter 4. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to read James 4, 1 through 7. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, where do wars and fights come from among you? Yes. Do they not come from your desires for desire pleasures that you. war in your members? Yes. Amen. You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war, mm. yet you do not have because yes. you do not ask. Yes. Amen. We have not because we did not ask the Lord. Yes. And then in verse 3 it says, you ask, so when you do ask, you don't receive because you ask amiss. Wrong reasons. Wrong motives. Motives. Mm -hmm. Asking amiss means you're asking with the wrong motives. Yes. That you may spend it on your own pleasure. So it has nothing to do about being a blessing or being in right standing with God or helping your brother and sister or yes. whatever. It's about... It's about me, myself, and I yes. spending it on your own pleasure, doing what you want to do. That's why there's these wars and these head buttons that's happening. Everybody wants to do what they want to do or they're right in their own mm. eyes. Amen. Well, there's two things I come to realize that will keep you in a battle. Mm -hmm. If you if you keep your mind on everything but what God told you to, mm -hmm. you're gonna have a battle. Yeah. If you keep if you're a selfish person, mm -hmm. and it's and we go again, it's all about you. Mm -hmm. You will be troubled. Yeah. You know, if you're lustful, yeah. If you can't if you haven't dealt with that lust, yeah, it's gonna keep you in a battle. Yeah. Amen. 
If you if you're just sinning, it's gonna keep you in a battle. Yeah. Anything the devil can use to keep your mind on you, yeah, it will keep you in a battle. Yes. And then you'll end up warring with other people. Yeah. But that thing is really in you. Yeah. You know, I think about even when it comes to um say uh, marriages, mm -hmm. couples. Mm -hmm. You know, one is cheating or doing that, that usually the one that's not will take on like, oh, what did I do wrong? But it's really not got nothing to do with you. Right. It's a battle that's going on in the person that's doing it. Yeah. It's a battle. It's a battle of the flesh against yeah. your soul. Yes. Amen. It ain't got nothing but so many, so often people think, oh, I had to do something wrong. Yeah. No, it's a struggle. Yeah. It's a struggle that's going in the, on in that person yeah. that will cause them to be uh, 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 be unrest. Yeah. To, you know, to, to be self-destruct. Yeah. You ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah. It's a battle. That's why the Bible says, bring those thoughts into captivity. Yeah. Something is trying to torment you. Yeah. Something is trying to kill, steal, and destroy you. Yeah. Don't ignore it. Yeah. Amen. F fight against it. Paul said, go yes. to the one who can deliver you. Yes. You know, we are in the flesh and no good thing dwell in the flesh. flesh. Yes. He said, bring those thoughts into captivity because it starts in the spirit. Yes. If you don't deal with it, if you ignore it, it'll manifest itself. Yes. You know, the bad thoughts, you know, people have suicidal thought. Deal with it. Get some help for it in the spirit. Yes. And one person I know can help everybody. That's Jesus. 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 If you put your mind on Jesus, yes. he'll keep you in perfect peace. Yes, he will. Amen. But if you keep your mind on you, you will be tormented. Yes. You have to bring those thoughts. You have to bring those thoughts into captivity. You, the battle starts on the inside. Yes. But the battle's not yours. Surrender that thing. Yes. Turn it over to God. Yes. Jesus will fix it. He will. But he only will. if you let him. Only if you let him. Amen. You know, in, 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 a, in, the, in the scriptures of James 4, amen, mm -hmm. it goes on around the fourth verse where, you know, the Bible tells us that carnal thinking, carnal fleshly thinking. thinking, thinking about me, myself, and I, amen, yes. these things are actually enmity yes. against God. Enmity is uh, hostility, opposition. Mm -hmm. So when we are thinking carnally, when we are thinking of ourselves mm -hmm. in the flesh, you know, thinking humanly, you know, not mm -hmm. spiritually, op the opposite of spiritual. When we are thinking carnally, it is like butting against God himself. Amen. Mm. So we can't be surprised when we are butting against our neighbor. Mm. Amen. Our brothers and sisters, our loved one, our spouse, our children. Amen. We can't mm. be surprised when these battles are happening. Amen. Because we're if we are in the flesh, if we're thinking in the flesh, operating in the flesh, it's going to instantly create a war. Mm. Amen. It's going to instantly create a battle. Amen. We have, that's why he's telling us we need to be spiritually minded. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. We need to be spiritually minded. In verse six of James mm. four, it says, but God gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, yes. but gives grace to the humble. If we would humble ourselves, amen, and recognize, you know what? This is not about me. Yes. Man, you know what? I need to get on the same page with God. I need the Lord. I need God's help. Amen. Vengeance is not mine. It's the Lord. So I'm not going to take matters in my own hand. I'm not going to try to fight God, the battle that's the Lord's. I'm not yes. going to fight it for him. Yes. Amen. I'm going to humble myself. Yes. Amen. Put myself in check. And guess what? God will give you grace. He will give you will. strength. Yes. He will empower you. He will give you strategy, amen, of how to go forward, overcome, amen. He will let you know and how he will give you peace, amen, in your own soul, amen. So therefore, in verse seven, submit unto God, mm. resist the devil and the devil will flee, he will. amen. You don't have a choice. He doesn't have a choice. Have a choice. We got to submit and surrender mm. and resist the devil. And then that's how we're able to get that breakthrough. Yes. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Yes. That's, so, that's so, so, again, I just I just want to reiterate. Yeah. You know why we have these wars? Because yeah. of that internal battle. Yeah. That we won't deal with. Yeah. With, you know, I say it every week. If, if the doctor give you a prescription, you got to use it. Mm -hmm. If God give you a scripture, 
you got to use it. You got to use it. You got to stand on it. Yeah. Amen. You got to stand on it. You got to implement it. You yeah. got to use it. Yeah. You got to use it or you will not get the benefits of it. Yeah. If you don't use that medicine that is known to work. Yeah. Then you're not going to get the benefits of it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, there is an internal battle. You want to keep sexual sin out of your life. Yes. Sin, period. Got to get it out. You got to get it out your life. You do. Greed. Get yes. it out your life. It's going to cause a battle. Yes. You know, you you selfishness. Yeah. One of the most, the biggest killers yeah. to me. If you're selfish, yeah. it's all about you. You yeah. just can't keep your mind off you. That's why you're troubled. Yeah. Because you can't, you can't, you, you won't do what God said. Bring yeah. those thoughts, those lies the devil telling you, or that self-pity, or that, yeah. that shame, or that hatred, or that bit. Get all those spirits. Yeah. Deal with it. Don't ignore it. Yeah. Deal with it. Yeah. Because it's causing battles on the inside. Yeah. You know, you we got enough by just just uh, to deal with. Yeah. By by being determined to be saved. Yeah. We we in flesh. Yeah. That's why I thank God. He said you got to get born again. Yeah. And you got to renew your mind because it, the way you were born thinking like that it wars against your soul. Yeah. Amen. It wars against the show. And some things you just got to know, too. Yeah. The battle is not yours. Committed to memory. Yes. It belongs to God. It belongs Let him to fight God. it. Yes. Let him fight it. And know this. Yeah. Isaiah um, 54, 17 said, no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. Amen. Some things you just have to commit to memory. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. If yes. the word that rise up against me, I'm going to be able to condemn it. Yes. By the way I live. Yes. By the way I love, you know, by the way I treat other people, you know, esteem people more highly than yourself. Yeah. And know that if somebody is struggling and they, and, and it's causing pain in you, it ain't you. Mm -hmm. It's that struggle. Yeah. Pray for them. Pray. Pray for them. Don't, don't physically, don't, don't take, take the world's method of, 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 of fighting. Yes. Or warring. You know, use God's method. It works. Yes. You know, it works. Yeah, so let's dig more into that. How to win the war. How mm -hmm. to use God's method in fighting these wars. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, victory comes from the Lord. Amen. Amen. And in Christ, you are more than a conqueror. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. You are more than a conqueror. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yes. Amen. And I just, there's a story in 2 Chronicles 20. We're not going to turn there today, but when you get a chance, please read this story. 2 Chronicles 20. Amen. And it talks about the Israel facing an army. Amen. They was like, this army that came against us. So they decided to fast. They decided to pray and seek the Lord. Amen. And they humbled themselves, said, God, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Bless the Lord. Amen. Our eyes are on you. And God says, this battle, mm. you don't even, you're not even going to have to fight. Amen. This battle is mine, so don't be afraid. And so their response when they got that word from the Lord is they believed it and they worshiped God in gratitude. Mm. Amen. And as they went forward and they and praised and worshiped, praise while and they worship. were praising and worshiping, worship. God sent the spiritual army before them, Amen. caused confusion in the enemy's camp mm. to where the enemy was fighting against themselves and defeated themselves. Absolutely. Amen. The Bible says there was so much spoils from that battle, from that war. The people of God, all they did was position themselves. Mm. And they saw the salvation. They positioned themselves. Yes, the enemy came at them, but they did not have to lift a finger Amen. because God defeated the enemy. And then there were so mm. much spoils, so many jewels, mm. so many treasures from that enemy army. Mm. Amen. That it took them three days to gather it. And once they gathered it, they went back in to worship and praise God. Mm. Praise and worship is one of the spiritual wars, about uh, weapons, excuse me. Mm -hmm. One of the spiritual weapons that we need, amen, to help us fight. Fasting, mm. yes. amen. Yes. Some things don't come out unless you fast and pray, yes. amen. And praise and worship is powerful, more powerful mm. than we realize. Amen. 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 It's more powerful than we realize. But mm. there's 
also some things we have to put on. Amen. Yes. Some things we have to put on. Mm. And that is the full armor of God. And I like what you said. Position yourself. Mm. You know, we need to, our posture matters. Yeah. You know, our disposition, it matters. Position Amen. yourself. Amen. Position yourself. You said they, they um, you know, an awesome position is praise and worship. Yes. Yes. You know, praise and worship. Praise and don't forget to pray. Yes. You, you go down on, stay on your knees because it'll help you stand. Yes. When you've done all you can do to stand, it'll, you'll still find yourself standing. Yes. Amen. Put, position yourself. Praise and worship. Yes. Amen. Praise and worship will help you stand. Yes, it will. Prayer it will help you stand. Yes. Amen. Take that scripture and use it. Yes. Stand on it. Amen. Yes. In Psalms 144, 1 and 2. It'll tell us that God is the one that teaches us how we Yes. Work. We can't. Our, our, our warfare is not carnal. Yes. Amen. Our weapons are not carnal. Amen. That's, we don't we don't pick up a hammer and a gun and it, 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 right. it. you know. That mm -hmm. that ain't how we fight. Mm -hmm. You know, you might go get you, you might have the right, according to the second amendments, to bear arms. Right. Amen. Yeah, amen. But we got the right to bear arms. <laughs> amen. Amen. It's mighty. 66 books. Yes. Yes. Mighty. It's mighty. When you get a chance, read 2 Kings chapter 6. Amen. Mm. Verse 8 through 23. I'm not going to go too much in it, but it just gives an example Amen. of how mighty these spiritual weapons are mm. to even be able to face an enemy army. Amen. Yes. You against an entire army. Amen. So go, when you get a chance, I'm not going to go too into it today, mm. but check it out. God's word. Amen. The spiritual things of God is mighty. Uh, mm. You got to be a soldier. Yes. You gotta be a soldier. Yes. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Uh, you know, although our our warfare is not carnal, right? You, our weapons are not carnal. You're still a soldier. Yes. Expect the enemy to come after you. Yes. Amen. That's good. But for God's sake, get dressed. Yes. And fight back. Yes. Put on that armor. Yeah, put on the whole. Put on the, the Bible says, put on the whole arm of God. Yes. Don't get half dressed and think you're going to win this battle. Yes. Though the battle does belong to the Lord, but you've got to take the, the, the armor of the Lord and put it on. Yes. And you got to put it all on. Yep. That's how you Amen. position yourself. Absolutely. Amen. When you're fighting a battle, the soldier, the good soldier mm. puts on the full armor. Absolutely. He don't go out in the battlefield missing his helmet. Yes. Or missing his shoes. Oh my Or goodness. didn't put on his belt. Like. No, that's the Lord. You come fully dressed, fully ready, dressed. amen, ready for whatever your commanding officer, yes. which is God Almighty, is going to tell you to do. Yes. Don't get entangled in the affairs of this world. Don't. But amen, it's because you want to please yes. God, please the one that who enlisted yes. you. Yes, don't, so don't, don't, don't get entangled. Yeah. Don't, don't focus on matters that don't matter, amen. Yeah. Work out your soul salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. Don't get caught up in, in, in what the world is doing. Yeah. Don't even, you know, don't even get caught up in what they're saying. Yeah. Amen. You already know something. Ain't no weapon formed against me gonna prosper. Yeah. You know, them words that rise up against me, I'm gonna be able to condemn it by the way I live. Yeah. By the way I love. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, don't get caught up, but I just wanna I wanna put a lot of emphasis on being dressed for the battle. Yeah. Amen. The battle belongs to the Lord, but he tells us what to put on yes. to stay fully covered. Yes. Amen. Don't, for God's sake, make sure you got your belt on. Yeah. Your belt holds everything up, else up. Yeah. And your belt is the belt of truth. Yeah. Can't be a lying saint and expect to win. Yeah. Amen. And ain't no such thing as no white lie. A lie is a lie. Amen. Make sure you have on your truth. Yeah. Make sure you have on your belt, your, 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 your belt. Mm -hmm. So you can hold everything up. Make sure you got the breastplate of righteousness on. Yeah. Amen. Stay righteous. Yeah. Keep your helmet on. You need your hard hat on. Yeah. To cover your mind and your brain. Make sure your feet, your, your faith, your shield is up. Cause it'll quench the lies and the yes. fiery darts of, yes. of the devil. Walk in peace. Keep your shoes on. Yes. Keep your sword in your hand, which is the word of God. Pray. Pray. And speak as you ought to. Amen. The things of God. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God, God got you. Yes. You're more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Yes. Amen. 
Yes. Will put on the whole arm of God oh, and count the cost. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. You will trust in the name of the Lord. Yes. Let not your heart be troubled. Amen. Just believe. Amen. Believe the plan of God. Believe God. Believe Jesus Christ. Yes. Rely on the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. The battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. Yeah. So when you get a chance, again, look at Ephesians 6. Amen. Starting in verse 10, where it talks about that full armor. Walk through that. Pray that scripture over your life. Amen. Make sure you have every piece on you. Amen. Yes. You are fully equipped because the devil is throwing darts. Yes. The devil is uh, sending wars. Mm. You know, you know, you've ever been there. It's like, oh man, I feel some kind of way or some just don't seem right. Or, or just, just, I keep head button heads or, or you just got this inner turmoil going on. That's a war. That is evidence mm. that there's a battle going on. Yes. Get before the Lord. Amen. Get before the Lord mm. and deal with that. Make it obey. Make your life obey Christ. In any situation that comes up to you, walk in obedience in Christ. Amen. Clothe fully with God's armor. And anything the enemy sends at your mind, yeah. if it don't line up with the word of God, Get it out of there. Yeah. Think on those things that are just, that are righteous, of good report. Yeah. You know, that, that, that are good, that are holy. Put your mind in heaven. Yeah. Because this is the battleground. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's trying to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. The, it's, the, it's, the, it's, it's the peace of God that will quench all that stuff up there. Yes. Amen. Let it rest. Yes. Let it rule yes. in your hearts and mind. Amen. Amen. You know, and don't forget that he gave us the message of reconciliation. Yes. Amen. He gave us the message of reconciliation. If, he, if you, you know, reconcile. Reconcile. Reconcile where you can. Yeah. Amen. Some people don't want peace. Right. You know, be careful with them flesh activators. Yeah. I say flesh activators. Those are people that are stir stuff up. Yeah. They like that negativity. They, they, they feed off of it. Yeah. But Amen. as much as it depends on you, you be at peace with oh, all man. Yes. And, yes. Uh, and beloved, yeah. above all things, I want you to prosper. Yeah. Uh, God wants you to be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let, us, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, we praise you, we honor and adore you. Yes, I thank you, God, that no weapon formed against us will prosper. And the word that rise up, we shall be able to condemn it. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I thank you that the battle is not ours, but it belongs to you. I yes, ask Lord. that you bless every soul at the sound of my voice. Yes, Lord. Build them up with a torn, strengthen them with a weak. Keep their minds stayed on you and yes, keep Lord. them in perfect peace. In Jesus', in Jesus name. Amen. 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 God bless. Amen. Till we meet again. Amen.